everybody. So, I'm here in Chicago. I made it safe for you. It was quite an adventure. I mean, like, we had so much fun up on the plane, just, like, laughing and joking. We kind of crash-landed here. <laughs> Sorry. All right, clearly not, like, a crash-crash because crash, I'm still alive, but, like, the plane touched down, and then the plane, like, jumped. It was ridiculous. Like, I don't know. I've never felt the plane jump. Anyway, we made it safe um, and sound, and just taking the day to, like, rest up and uh, write, put some finishing touches on this piece um, that I'll be sharing, um, not tomorrow night, Saturday night. Uh, while I'm out here, I have two shows. One is at... Um, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I'm like the worst person ever. Like, where's my show? I don't know, but I'll be there. Um, so I have three shows while I'm out here. One is with the Maven Imprint, uh, which is an artist collective and art services company that I work with often, um, run by Danny, Danny Severance and Matt Gor- Gornick. <laughs> I always fuck up his last name. Um, and Paulie Nassar of NAS, Team Nassar. Um, so we're doing a group show called The Transpersonal Experience. We have some Midwest favorites like Geronimo and Blaze B. And then we also have some New York favorites like Danny and the Nacapellas and me. Holla. Um, so it's going to be really, really dope. Um, and then... Tomorrow night, I'm going to be spinning some poetry with my homeboy, Geronimo, at a dinner. I would guess it's like a benefit dinner um, about for an organization that raises like um, sexual awareness, like sexual violence awareness. So um, April, I also found out, is Sexual Violence Awareness Month um, on top of being like, on top of being National Poetry Month. So um, that's a cause that's like really close to my heart. I've been a victim of sexual violence in the past, um, and I have many, many pieces about it. I don't really share them because they're more healing pieces than anything else. They're, um, you know, and it's one of the very many events in my life that, you know, writing has helped me heal through. Um, to have that outlet for those emotions and things. So I'm really honored um, to be someone who's unknown virtually in Chicago and to, like, be asked to to spit at this event. Like, I feel very honored in that. Um, So I I hope they appreciate what I'm writing for them. Um, And then Sunday, I'll be sitting in with uh, Danny the Nacapellas in Peoria, doing some musical stuff, so that's exciting, right? Um, So, yeah, it's going to be a full week, and I just wanted to take a minute to, like, update everyone and say hi and thank you. Um, Last night's Art Lover was really, really amazing. Um, We had a beautiful turnout. We had a beautiful audience of inspiration. Like, I'm so inspired from last night. It was amazing. Um, and so, you know, I just, I can't stop saying thank you any day. Like, it doesn't matter what is going on. I can never stop saying thank you. And I realize how important it is to just always show the thankfulness that I have. Uh, And I don't know if that's why people rock with me or it's just one of my very obnoxious traits, but, um, I'm thankful. I'm in Chicago I got here safely. I ran. <laughs> so on the last video, right, <laughs> we were in the um, security line at 551. Our flight was scheduled to leave at 610. So at 551, we had just gotten to security. And tell me why we got through security and made it to our gate and onto a plane Onto that plane by 6.03. We were seated. <laughs> I told you we'd make that flight. <laughs> so. Um, but I say that to say, like, that is also proves the power of positive thinking, right? Because we left Harlem at, like, 
the bus came at like 5.15 and we're paranoid like oh shit we're gonna miss this flight because we got to the airport at 5.40 and we're like oh we're gonna miss this flight oh we don't miss this flight and the whole time I'm like we're not missing this flight no we're gonna make this shit happen and like even the security lady you know my girlfriend went to um she went to go get the the tickets printed and it was 5.44 and we're like just getting to the line to get to security and that line like when we got there, there was nobody in that line to get to security. And then suddenly when we appeared, like 12 people came out of nowhere. And this shit just became mad long. <laughs> and the security lady is looking at all these people and she's like, what time is your flight? Yeah, you missed it. And I'm like, no, no, we're not going to miss it. Don't you naysay me. And um, she comes running with the tickets and we get to through security. And like, so, you know. This let this be a lesson to anyone watching, you know, keep a positive state of mind and like be determined in whatever you want to do. And even when it's like all the odds are against you and it looks really bleak, like that's just not going to happen. Guess what? Your energy is going to make that shit happen because I'm very sure that our determination of mind and our mindset saying we are making this flight, we are making this flight repeatedly, I think, um, and I could totally be wrong, but I don't want to believe that I am. But <laughs> I think that it was that energy that we kept giving off, that thought of we're going to make this flight no matter what, um, that definitely let us make this flight. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, thanks to everybody that's been supporting me and us and just me so far. Um, appreciate you. And uh, I'm safe, sound. And I'm going back to sleep now because I'm hella tired. <laughs> See you in a little while. Bye. <laughs>